Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to introduce you to the uh, Quarkus config editor, which can be quite useful. So let's start with an empty project. The group uh, ID is airhex and the artifact ID, let's call it config. Version doesn't matter, uh, no extensions, and yes, I would like to have some code. So switch to config and I would like to delete the tests. They are not needed today. And then I would like to open the project with Visual Studio Code. So now the project is opened. Now the project ships with uh, empty application properties and uh, we would like to edit the uh, application properties today. So, and um, we have the greetings resource, which uh, also ships as an example. And what I would like to do is to add a message and return the message here. And the message should be configurable. So that's the entire idea. Uh, so let's do this. And I would like to inject that. This is actually optional, this inject, but uh, this is more important, config property. And then uh, the name should be message. And the default value should be um, hello Java. So, and this is only needed because otherwise it would be the fully qualified uh, field name. Okay, now let's start the project. Maven uh, clean, uh, oh no, we don't have to clean. Just compile it and uh, Quarkus dev in development mode. This can uh, take a few seconds and then it will start in development mode. Um, yeah, now it started. So let's switch to the browser. And here, it, here is the browser, and this is the Quarkus. Just do it again and try to see whether the hello is working. So it works fine. So now we have here the dev UI. So this is QDev, and the uh, config configuration editor ships already with Quarkus. So um, let's go here. And what I would like to do is to edit the file. So I can actually say message equals, and then say hello Java, and save it. So now it's saved. So if I, uh, hello, oh, hello Java, so do hello Quarkus, a difference, save it. And uh, try it again. So hello Quarkus seems to work. Um, the interesting part is it actually appears here in the um, configuration file. So this is bi-directional configuration story. So um, now more useful is if I switch to the, back to the editor and say, go to the form and let's say I forgot how to set up the port. So what I can do, I can just search, for instance, for 8080, and this is here, Quarkus HTTP port, and I can say, okay, now I'd like to switch to 8282 and um, save it. So now if I switch to Quarkus and reload that, you see Quarkus HTTP port 8282. But of course I can also use here and say, I would like to enable course to true and then uh, switch back to the editor and uh, here, reload the editor and reload it. And now search for course. And we see here that the course is enabled. So it's actually interesting that the uh, editor shipping with Quarkus in the dev environment is a bi-directional editor. So we can keep editing in Visual Studio Code or in browser. So thank you for watching and see you at upcoming conferences, workshops, Ehex Live, um, or even a project. So thank you and bye.